Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. Welcome back, Commander. A little fuzzy, Marlo, but you're coming through. Let's take it slow. I want to get to that beacon in one piece. If you're looking for a piece first, then I've got something for you right here. I need scanning equipment to find uh, uh, it, Heist. Uh. <laughs> okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this play, Alien Isolation. This got to be one of the coolest parts of this game. Not gonna lie. All right, we basically get to play Marlowe's story, so to say, that he's telling us. And oh my God, doesn't this makes you feel like you're actually, you know, playing the movie? You know, the first Alien movie. I mean, look at this. It looks exactly like in the movie. When they were walking to their their like ship. There you are. Foster, Meeks, keep your eyes open. Roger. Oh my god, this is so I don't know, it's just mm. I mean I remember the first time I played this, I was like, oh god, like I had no idea what to expect, and it was like this is so atmospheric. This is this is just like the movie. I mean, look at the surrounding and like you really feel you're inside this tight spacesuit and you're oh your emotion is limited and oh my god, your vision is limited and I love it. This is just brilliant. I love that I added this. I mean, you just listen to all the sounds. The storm in the background that signal's getting stronger over here. Your guess is as good as mine. Besides, I thought you lived for this stuff. I just worry about what's right in front of me. Uh, now what? Like, you can barely see in front of you. I guess this is what the Kane Lambert in the movie saw. I'll have a look around. See if I can find a weak spot. Wait here. I'll have a look around. Oh, okay. I guess I'll have a look around. Gotta need a lift. Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. Give me a leg up. I found a path. Check it out. What if you don't come back? Then you wait some more. <laughs> what if you? <laughs> Why would you even say that? Like, oh god, just shut up. Shit. Nay. That's okay. Lost my footing at all. That's all. Yeah, I'm good. It was a close one, though. Don't think I'll be able to get back the way I came. Just watch yourself, you hear me? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Mom. Man, I don't think it's really safe to walk on this, like, unstable, like, geothermal, I don't know, the asteroid with the fucking blazing storm. I don't think this is very safe. It's not really a safe environment. Like, I wouldn't want to move here and, you know, raise a family. Not really. Prices are probably pretty low. I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for it. Stay put! I think I found something. Well, I don't see you, so... God, I think I found something. Oh, I can't go there. There's a fissure in the rock. Stand back, I'm gonna blow it. There's a fissure in the rock. Yeah, this is probably safe. Blow things up. Make this place even more unsafe. Yeah, yeah. Yippee! 
again, probably not the safest thing to do <clears throat> in this situation. Uh, whoa! Don't whoa. Do that to me again. Let's get going. Follow me. <laughs> he actually scared me a little bit. Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. <laughs> Heist again. Yeah, you're my leg guy. Every sound is just from the movie. I love it. Jesus Christ. It's just like in the movie. When they found the ship. Oh god. Mm -hmm, I love this. Just, to, just as in the movie, you know, when they find a ship and they're like, "Oh God!" The suspense is just too damn high. I like that nobody's talking. That that makes it even better, you know, like all silent. Like, one could easily ruin this moment with, like, you know, unnecessary uh, conversation between the characters. But no, I love it that it's actually silent. Or oh, maybe you should shut up. All right. HR Geiger shit right here. Damn. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but most of his stuff is like based on penises and vaginas. You can clearly see uh, the vagina resemblance here. And actually, like the head of the alien, it's it's kind of like a huge penis. <laughs> it's true. That's the that's like the thing he was going for. Because like subconsciously. Our mind think stuff like that is kind of freaky, or like, you know, I don't know, it's like, it makes us uneasy when we see stuff like that, so, and he knew it, that's why he designed the alien, the ship, in that way, because it makes us like, oh, what the hell, and all these cables, and you know, and this, that looks like a spine, spinal cord, it's just, mm. something big. Imagine, this is like the first time humans are, are like, you know, entered some kind of, or, well, it's not really established in the movie if this is the first time they see an alien ship or not, but this is the first time they see this ship. Or probably something like it, so it's, it's like, I mean, it's established in the Aliens movie that they have encountered other alien races, but, or aliens of some sort, but. Careful with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. Yeah, How no ruthless shit. this be? What is it? A cockpit? And make this a ship? <laughs> I think we found our payload. Hey, quiet. What? You think we're gonna wake him? Hey, sorry, pal. Can't it. We're wasting time. Have a look around. No, no. It's a life form. Yeah, no shit. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. We need to stake our claim before anyone else does. And if Dora is not prepared for something this big, then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around, see what else is here. Mama, we found something. Tracks. Tracks? It looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. You're not gonna like this. What is it? The tracks lead here. Same name that's on the flight recorder. That's right. Mm. Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit. Well, if they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, still alive. There goes our salvage. 
Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Foster, Heist, check out the cavern below. It's the engineer. You know the engineers from Prometheus. Blah, blah, blah. What is this? I've never seen anything like it. It's not human. I'm telling you that. Yeah, no shit. And I mean, look at the design of like the, 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 the cockpit slash chair slash... I don't know, whatever this is. I mean, that one makes it even more freaky. Like, like we don't know any of this, what what it is, what's its purpose, what what the, f like, how, like, what does this do? I don't know. It, it's, it's all, God, it's just brilliant. Love it. And the fact that you get to experience this, just as they did in the movie, entering this ship and, like, seeing these things, it's, I love it. It's amazing. Solid, solid idea to add this to the game. I, I, I love it. I think the beacon is over here. Mm. Might need some help here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you know your job. <laughs> But they didn't show this in the movie, so uh, this is something new, actually, that I was pretty surprised to see. We actually get to see the beacon. <gasps> but it's making the distress signal. Or, as we later le learn in the movie, isn't it distressing? Mix, I found the beacon. I'm gonna check it out. It's more like a don't come here ever signal. <laughs> So now we actually get to see some engineer technology. Space jockey technology. I don't know, whatever you call it. And one thing I don't understand, how the hell does this guy know how to operate this? Like, like I wouldn't stick my hand in an alien device. And like, all right, I guess that was it. I don't know, I touched it and it- Don't know what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. Mama, you have got to see this. It's amazing. On my way. And look at this, this looks even more like a vagina slash, I don't know, giant anus or something. I mean, this looks like, I don't know, spinal cord, anal beads, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just, it's, ah, uh, mm, it's unsettling, that, that's, that's what it is at least. It's so br brilliantly uh, designed, br brilliantly, brilliant, brilliant, uh, it's such a brilliant design. On everything, Xenomorph, the the ship, the space jockey. I mean, everything just looks amazing. It's so airy and unsettling. <laughs> God. Oh yeah, I'm like I'm almost speechless. I was the first time I'm playing this. I was like, I I don't even know what to feel. Like I was scared, but also like I don't know. I was just I was just curious. I guess it just was what these people are probably feeling. Oh really? Really? You want me go to go down there? Like, we all know what's waiting down there, but... Alright. Let's play stupid humans and explore everything unexplored. Even stuff we shouldn't explore. Haha, <laughs> bye-bye. This is just what Ken experienced when he went down the tunnel in the movie. Oh, God. Holy dick, it's the eggs. The storage area. Oh my god. Incubator. Whatever there is. Egg 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 eggshells. Uh, egg 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 hedrich. I, 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 I don't know.
people are way too curious for their own good. We all know that was coming, but it's still scary every time. Even when I watch the movie, it's like... Durr. I want to know more. Wow. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Not happening, Marlo. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait, my board in the text by it split up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B, set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need. Mm-hmm. Hey, catch up. Oh, baby. I hit the mother load. Finally, finally, finally. Oh, sweet lord. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. Well, it's more than an animal, it's a fucking nightmare. Betty, he is partially right. Finally, I actually have something to. You know, defend myself. I can't kill it still, but at least I can make it scared for like a second. <laughs> I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Sistec Spire. I'll coordinate from here. Great. I'm just gonna say hostile sniper. What the fuck? I'm just gonna say just to be safe. Great. You know, I think I'll end the episode here, and because uh, I think this technically counts as another chapter. So, uh, I'll end the episode here and I'll continue to the next one where we finally get to use the flamethrower. Ah! So, I'll see you then. Take care and bye bye.